Hey ladies, here's a look inside the fridge. Those beers are not mine. First, I want to say that those, those beers do not belong to me. Um, so this is what I got for food. This butter chicken here has no sugar, no flour, very few ingredients, nothing I can't pronounce. So I did get some type of packaged food there. That's not my norm, but I wanted to try it. My tofu, those are beets. I like to put beets with strawberries and cherries. It's really good. These are already chopped onions, so I can make my crock pots very easily without having to chop onions and cry. That's kale, pineapple. I have my lettuce greens. Those are mushrooms. Got yogurt back there. Some rice. These are my cucumbers and my carrots for my crock pots and celery for my crock pots. And I got a lot of frozen berries and frozen fruit. I have one bag of fish here. I am gonna try some fish this month. And I started making extra meals and I'm gonna try to get um, some frozen meals over here to make it a little bit easier for me on the days that I'm just busy. This is riced cauliflower. I'll also put that into the crock pots. Now here, I wish I would have got a video of this on the first day before I ate some of this stuff. It looked so nice when it was all, when it was all organized. So those are my spaghetti squashes. Here's just some, some seasonings that I'll put into the crock pot. These are almonds right there for my salads. Spaghetti squash. Um, this is an acorn squash. I like to put that in the crock pot too. Um, this is a, this is a malanga. Um, this is like a root vegetable. I'll actually have to like chop this up to fit it into my crock pot. These are my sweet potatoes, my onions. This is another kind of potato. I don't remember what it's called. And this is a yuca. I made some of those yesterday. And here's the sauce for my spaghetti squash. This is some curry sauce. This also has no sugar and no flour. So I'm gonna play around with that a little bit. There's my oatmeal. You guys know I eat oatmeal every single night. And here are my apples. And here's my new crock pot. It has three, it has three crock pots in one. Right here, I have all my vegetables. There's kale in there, garlic, onions. Um, oh, no, 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 no. And an acorn squash. And there's some spaghetti squash in there too. I actually overcooked a spaghetti squash, so it was no longer spaghetti-like. It just was very mushy, so I put it in here. It was still good. It just wasn't how I like my spaghetti squash. So I just made it part of this, this um, vegetable almost soup here. So that's all my vegetables. And then I put a couple of sweet potatoes in here as my carb. And then in here, I have a bunch of tofu. I have onions and garlic in here as well and some seasonings. And um, I just took a brick of tofu last night and I put it in here. And this is what I'm gonna be eating today. That and I'm gonna eat some salad. I'm about to make a pear salad with um, this lettuce. I'm gonna put um, pears in there, cucumbers, goat cheese probably some of this fruit as well. This fruit I already took out, it's already thawed out. So it's kind of like wet and soupy, which I like on my salads because then I don't need any salad dressing. Okay, so that's my food video. And of course, my pink Himalayan sea salt. As always, I actually need more salt than regular people because I drink a lot of water. As you guys know, I drink like one or two gallons of water per day. And um, I also have low blood pressure. I've had low blood pressure my entire life. It just kind of runs in my family. Like we're not sick. We just have naturally low blood pressure. And because of that, um, I tend to get dizzy. So um, I found the cure for that. Just put salt on my food. I used to never, ever, ever use salt until 